Hello circle sitters and welcome to this video about home circles. In a previous video that I've, I've published about um, spirit teams, please watch, very very important to, to learn about and understand the, the subject of, of home circles, spirit, um, spirit tables, these different abilities, psychic art, it, it, it goes deep, there's a lot to know, a lot to learn. However, home circles is a very important subject that you need to be aware of and, and do as well. It's important to have your own home circle and a home circle can be at home, usually, um, a place where it doesn't cost money to rent a space, where you can invite friends over, relatives, friends, co-workers, people that, you know, you, you have a strong desire for spirit and just sit in that energy. It could be a drumming circle, it could be psychic art, it could be music. But you need to hold the space for spirit. And how to do that is just to be quiet in the mind. Be quiet, play a little bit of gentle music. It could be healing circles. Whatever you feel drawn to. Whatever faith that you're into. It could be paganism, it could be a different type of religion. It could be a different way of connecting you know, yourselves intuitively, psychically, however you work non-physically. Um, if you have people who ha are thinking of the same way, especially with like trance as well. Um, so a typical home circle sometimes involves a medium a present or a trance medium or at least one or two individuals who are in tune or sensitive or a little bit psychic. Because in time, these abilities will strengthen, they will get stronger, they'll get more intuitive, um, you'll start to, to smell things non-physically, uh, hear things, see things slightly, and it won't be straight away. It will take time to build up. So over time, you might start to see spirit lights, which happens to me. I, I've been in a lot of like seances and trance circles uh, over the years, um, and especially for the last sort of like, 14, 15 years I've been part of like trance circles. Um, so like I had a period of uh, the last couple of years of attending a lot of seances with um, some of the most gifted um, physical mediums and trance mediums across the world who come to our center. And after an intensive like week or two of, of this, I started seeing spirits above above heads, well not spirit, I started seeing lights above people's heads, which I'm sure was like spirit, because it was non-physical, it was like little flashes of light, very, very beautiful, nothing scary. And um, this has strengthened my, my intuition, my belief, and it's relaxed me more in life, uh, because it's been my own hands-on experience. So I'm not going to tell you about these things that I've experienced, um, I, I've got them on my website, but it's until you experience it yourself that you start to really like, yeah, this is very real. And, you know, you, you know for sure that this is spirit. So having that dedication really is important for then really creating your own home circle. And if you don't have anybody that you can think of that you can start this with, then just do it on your own. Perhaps you have, if you have a pet, a, a cat or a dog, just they are very sensitive. Pets are, and animals are very sensitive to energies. And if you do something on a weekly basis, uh, my, my dog, Obi, Obi Gong Kenobi, um, when I used to play and sit the gong like almost every evening, he knew just to stay there and, and lay down and enjoy, and he did. He'll move around a couple of times in the space of like half an hour or an hour. But he knew when the time was up and ready because he'll get up just as I was about to think, hmm, we're going to stop now. And he just knew. So you don't have to be on your own. And if you are on your own, then you're really not on your own physically. Um, well, spiritually anyway, you have your guides there. And the importance of home circles all depends on your purpose. Depends whatever reason you are to, to connect with spirit, spiritually. Again, it could be psychic art, it could be... Um, painting, it could be sound, it could be healing, it could be trance, physical mediumship, whatever it is. The important things to know is to dedicate a time once a week at the same place, in the same space, at the same time. Turn off your phone, don't have any 
distractions. Um, make sure you're in a very quiet, quiet room. If you can't, then put a blindfold on, put some headphones on and just sit in a very comfortable position. Sit upright, don't lay down, otherwise you might fall asleep. Light a candle. Don't really light incense because you don't want to um, create disturbances of smells and, and, and things, but just, you can light a candle. Um, have some water there ready to drink and just dedicate that time. Even if it's like half an hour, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, once a day or once a week and just really connect. And I promise you that you will start to connect. You will start to see, see faces probably, energies. You might start to feel things, smell things. You might have visions, you might have ideas, um, but you will have some form of communication. And that's just you alone. And if you connect with others doing this, then things will start to build up. One good thing to do in a home circle is to play music to raise the energy. So it could be like songs that people know, like Queen, it could be ABBA, it could be like disco songs that people know, like YMCA, just, just dance and it's just raising the energy. And do that for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, have a couple of songs, and then just put on some relaxing music or just not play anything and just sit in the power of spirit and things will start to evolve and grow. Remember to have the faith, have the love, and never give up, always be consistent, and things will grow and things will be good. My best wish to you all, um, love to you all, and um, I'll speak to you soon.